Hey people, this is Mr. UV, aka Mr. Ultraviolet, and we're back with another video on Wild West Heroes. Alright, today, with this new update, I don't know why the game's moving real slow. Could be my phone. I do have an iPhone, so just like the first time you've seen it moving this slow, but that's neither here or day. Right now, we're going to be covering the new events that they released for this week. All right, so the monthly calendar is still going on, as you can see. Now, this is one of the events I've been waiting for. This right here is one of the P, um, the free-to-play events that I was recommending. This is one of the free-to-play uh, events that I was recommending. And if you watched my last video I just put out today, uh, I was talking about the upgrading gear. This is another way for you to get gear. So this event right here. It's something you're probably going to want to go hard on. Hopefully, you was following my advice I gave you in my past videos on hoarding to be able to capitalize on events like this. All right. So, we'll just get into this one real quick, and then I'll show you my results of what I was able to do free to play and what you could do, too, if you follow my advice. All right. So, this one right here, basically, a uh, miraculous event. It is basically giving you score based off characters from certain classes that you get now notice all of these are five star right so this is all five stars you can see obtain five star characters so these can either be um fused four stars to a five star or it can be an innate five star character that you get which is typically the ones that's purple that's five star or yellow that's five star which are called legendaries all right so the first one says obtain three duelists that is, if I'm not mistaken, these guys, the spades. So I got to get three spades characters. Um, that's five star. Obtain three five peacemakers. That's the hearts. Obtain three five star green thumbs. That is the clovers. Obtain three five star smooth talkers. That's the diamonds. And then we have obtained two five star regulators. Now those are the white jokers. This one right here, if you can see it, those with the regulators are obtained two five-star um, ramblers. Those will be the black jokers, this one right here, or like Sister Mercy in the picture. And then it says complete the above six quests. So you will unlock this, this one, this last tier, which gave you a, a Calamity, um, um, uh, Caitlyn or whatever. You get her um, when you complete these uh, top ones. So all these other ones, you can complete them you'll get her automatically. If you don't have her, she's a great character. She does crazy burst damage. She also lowers the uh, enemy team defense, which is very, very strong. Check my uh, tier list video. You'll see where she plays that. She's a very good character. All right. And um, I will show you my results because I will be able to unlock a lot of these uh, probably in the video. All right. So this one right here, it is the target recruitment now that is using the golden coins so you use it 10 times you get that one you use it uh, 20 times you get this one 30 so on and so on now on the rewards for this one i'll cover the rewards and these these are all phenomenal they're giving you cards for you to you know pull maybe you get more characters that can probably you know complete some of these challenges you're getting four for all of them and you can see every tier gave you four except the last uh, 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 what well, the last three I'll say, um, these two right here give you golden coins. The reason why they give you golden coins because this are the guarantee. Uh, the golden coins are the guaranteed way to get ramblers and regulators. So they're basically like giving you, you know, currency for you to complete these challenges as well. And the last one, you know, that's just, you know, the the cherry on top. If you complete everything, you get this full character. Uh, you know, in other uh, uh, events they usually have uh. Either a full rambler or legendary uh, f uh, fragment character, or they'll just give you a full character. All right, so all the uh, rewards for these are, you know, remotely decent. Uh, the last one, um, uh, you do you use 80 uh, golden coins, you will get 15 shards. These are where I was talking about the five star rambler fragments or regulators. This is how you get uh, jokers, legendary jokers, white and black. Um, this can be a way for you to get the new character they just released, um, Tesla. Um, he is a white joker. This can be a way for you to get him. Now, mind you, there is four rounds of this, right? So, and it takes 50 to unlock this. So, if you complete this 
you know, four times 100%, you will be able to get yourself a free 100%, um, you know, Rambler or Joker. Now, it is random. It, it was two and two, two white jokers, two uh, uh, black jokers, or two ramblers and two regulators. Now there is one extra white joker or regulator, so it now is three and five. So you do have a higher chance of getting a regulator or white joker now. Now these rewards are good considering that um, this right here will be the fodder for you to level up those jokers if you do end up getting one um these can also help you unlock the challenges for this one this event um they're decent like i said you can either get you know the five star purple um five uh five star characters the purple ones you can get you know innate five stars or you do have a chance of getting um a four star that's been enhanced or you know fused up to a five star um, and these right here. These are not the ones that only give you five star purple characters. You can't get the fused four stars. So you can see it's just, it has the blue, you know, like puzzle and the purple. So it's letting you know you can't like this one right here. She's, you know, innately a four star character. She comes as a four star, but if you have enough, you can fuse her into a um five star version of herself. That's what I meant. Um, all right. So and then they are giving out Lady Luck as well. Um. Lady Luck is bugged in the game. She hits mid, even though her description of her skill says that she's supposed to hit back. I have sent out a claim to the developers. They have yet to get back with me. I, I, I don't think it's been resolved. Um, I'll probably do an updated video after I'm done doing this one to let people know if she's been fixed or not. I have talked to the developers, and they said they are working on it. So at the moment of uh, me making this video, she is better than she is intentionally supposed to be because she's hitting mid and she also you know crits um so she does do phenomenal damage on damage dealers but she's not supposed to do that she's supposed to do decent damage to support which is one the same role that she plays you know people like uh the preacher your healers people like that so that kind of takes her down on the tears in my opinion uh because you pretty much want to go for either damage dealers or the tanks first so that kind of takes her down. But at the moment of me recording this video, she is better than she's supposed to be, in my opinion. So the rewards for this is pretty uh they're pretty good because they can help you complete this event right here, which gives you gear, which is what we'll need at the moment of me recording this with the new update, as well as it's giving you chances to be able to unlock new characters to complete this challenge, as well as just build your roster. Now let's get into the next one. This tab right here, which they always have, is a way for you to buy the resources to complete these two challenges right there so the deals for this typically are relatively all right so that's about 250 diamonds that's enough for one card inside the stagecoach that's the trash offer um trash value you shouldn't be using your diamonds on buying cars in the stagecoach you should be using your diamonds on other things like i always say in pretty much every video and they, they did increase it. it. It was once two golden uh, uh, coins for the five. It is now three. And it goes up two in the next increment. And then it goes up uh, uh, six. Uh, no, seven. Seven. Excuse my mind. Seven. So they did work on the, the offers. Um, they do give you XP for the VIP, which is just extra offers or even more cut prices. They're, they're decent, but they really don't get good until you start hitting like VIP level uh, 15 and up. So if you're below that, these really aren't worth it. Like I said, these um this event right here that they have is a free-to-play event. You do not need to be using um, golden coins to complete that. This one right here is a more paywall event, um, but it can be free-to-play as well if you was following my advice. So if you did follow my advice and you was able to stack up enough resources, you would not have to use any of these right here. All right. So they have this last event. As you can see, I already collected some of these last night with several reset because I did have her. Now, the way it is, the character there, the event is centered around is Darling Dove. Um, She's a support character for the Green Thumb. She's pretty good. She's like a pseudo healer and damage dealer. She heals every time that she crits so every time she crits she will heal for 60 percent of her attack of the weakest character on your team so she can do decent heals as long as she's critting 
and you know you're giving her you know assign bonuses to crit and her gear is giving a crit uh chance and bonus so she can be a good healer and she can also do decent damage especially if you give her enough time to uh, enough time to get those uh butterflies out on the enemy team so she's a decent character in my opinion um the higher you level her and get her uh get her star levels the more uh resources you uh rewards you will be able to get now it does cap out at five uh ten star which is a uh, one red star that is max at the current time of me recording this video that is the highest star level um and level uh 250 is the highest level in the game at the moment of me recording this she does max out at that excuse the uh, notifications but um uh she so when you get our right, how it works is it goes by you know the NA base form five star and then it goes to six star which is one purple star and so on and so on uh the middle uh resources or, or uh, uh section is what you get for free to play so the ones you see where i have complete these are all free to play i did not spend any money for that just because i had her at a two purple star or in game they called that a seven star i was able to make it to this point and get all of these resources you see complete at now if you look at the next section next to that on the far right you will have to spend money on first you will have to have the requirements to reach that level of uh you know rewards as you can see i don't have a, a three purple star or in game eight star so i cannot get this offer as you can see i'm trying to buy the 99 offer it will not allow me to get it i will first have to get her to that level to even get those resources or uh rewards on the far right now these i do i can claim now let's get into how good they are that's why you're watching this right they're not good twenty nine dollars for another copy of her, which probably can help you reach it to a higher level on the list that is required. Okay. Now, this right here will give you another care five star character from the same faction as her. It is Greenhorn as a clover in the corner. So, you can't get another copy of her. You can't get any of the other Greenhorn characters other than the legendary ones. So, you cannot get Pathfinder in this uh, fragment. They are giving you 1,500 uh, diamonds, which is. You know, well, so so is good amount, but it's none of these resources, in my opinion, is worth thirty dollars. This is not a, a character that you pretty much want to even spend money for. So that's trash. Now let's go into the next tier. Now this is where it get interesting. Like I said, um, Tesla just came out maybe uh, a couple days ago to uh, prior to me recording this video. He is the new character. He is also a joker or a regulator, and I'm gonna uh review him uh soon probably after this video i'm gonna review him he is a very good character you do get a full copy of him you also get a hundred thousand you know cash which is you know minuscule it sounds like a big number when you get higher up in the content it really is not that much uh you also was getting sixty thousand meats which is always needed once again looks like a big number really not that much um all that for a hundred dollars now that is a crazy offer right there a hundred dollars i don't think any character in the game is worth a hundred dollars they do have offers that pop up here and there that you can get a regulator or rambler a legendary character for fifty dollars with the resources to take them at least to a six star for fifty dollars so um that's half of what they're offering right now and more resources for half the price now the thing go get her with that is is that it's random you will not get to choose the regulator or rambler that you you know pulling for and this is guaranteed you're getting tesla but it's i mean are you really willing to pay a double the price just to guarantee you get this character in my opinion it's not worth it uh Sixty-nine dollars for ten thousand gold dust and more chances to get copies to fuse her to level yourself, your character, uh, Dolan Dev up to reach more tiers on this objective. That's not worth it, and I'll prove it to you. Um, ten thousand gold dust, you can get that from the store for fifty dollars from the weekly and monthly pack, as you can see right there. You're also getting ten golden coins with that and 2500 xp for the vip and you're also getting an elite 
uh, hero fragment, which means legendaries are included and the four stars that's fused up to five stars are not included. So they're giving you only good characters pretty much. And you're getting that for $50. Um, same for the monthly. The, the monthly one does offer the same thing. I think the difference is, is this one offers diamonds, while the weekly one offered you the guaranteed elite hero. So the monthly one, in my opinion, is better because diamonds are better currency than just getting a character. They still both give you 10 golden coins as well as the 2,500 elite uh, XP and 10,000 gold dust. And both of those are for $50. So this is a better offer in the store than the one that they're offering for the event. Yeah. So that's the thing. Um, in my opinion, buy the one in the store if you're that desperate. But to be honest, like I always am in all my videos, neither one of those offers are even worth your money. And as we go down, it just gets worse. It's pretty much the same um, offer, $10,000, uh, maybe $100,000, 60,000 meats and, or rations and a, 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 a character of a Tesla. One character, Tesla. Now, the free-to-play ones do change. They are offering um, 400000 And then they're giving you a full uh, purple trinket. And then the max out is a gold or orange trinket. Now, in my, in my opinion, I feel that they should give you a red trinket. I've yet to see any red trinkets in-game. So that's probably why it's just orange or gold trinket. But they do give you the gold uh, red gun at maxed out and uh, 50 uh, refined iron, the purple resource. All of these pay paywall uh, rewards are trash in my opinion. And that's pretty much the weekly events that we have. Uh, the monthlies are all still the same as you can see. They just refresh if you're completing them depending on certain ones like uh, this one, uh, you know, and the train, obviously. Now, if you made it to this part in the video, which is the end where I show you me completing the event and how you can do it, and I give you tips on how you could do it free to play with this spending zero dollars, how you can complete all of these events without spending any money. Now, if you go to my, we're going to go to our items and fragments, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to complete these events just from you know, playing the game and not spending any money and not opening resources just to open them. All right. And now they say I need three, five star, of pretty much every type of hero. Let's see what I got saved up. Some of them I shouldn't have opened, but I do have a lot of heroes. All right. So I got a, a copy of her that I never opened. She's a green clover. Boom. That's one. It's one of her. I got another one of these, so that's, that's two clovers that I can get. Um, I got one of these, so let's go ahead. I know I'm going to be able to complete the duels, the spades, just from spades already. Yeah, I got way more spades than I need. Um, I'll just leave those. I should probably open him first. All right, so let's go ahead and open up these right here. These elites, I got one of those. Can I get another speed? Uh, I got three of these. Let's hope I get some mixed up. All right. So I end up getting some diamonds. So I completed the diamond one, the smooth talker, and the duelist one. I need one more. Um, I need one more. Okay. So I do have two. Oh, I have plenty of these. I only open up two. I only need two. Boom. So I did get the rambler side open. And I see if I can open this and get them. We're going to open up these four stars as well, if you're still watching. We're going to open up four stars, and then we're going to go to the Manage Heroes spot and see if we can fuse some of these four stars into five stars and see if we can beat some of those achievements or challenges. Uh, so that's all of those, and these don't hold characters. All right, let's go up into here, see what we can do. Scroll to the bottom so we cannot turn any four stars into five stars. That sucks. But like I said, this is day one of the event. Um, I will be getting more um, 
resources or whatever to be able to complete this. I have a full week to do this. Like I told you, I was going to be able to complete some of these just from having resources. And that's not it. So I got that. That's good. Um, okay, let's see. We got those four. These four. I'm more hype about getting the gear with the new gear update that they just released. That I'm more focused on the gear because we're going to have to go through a lot of gear to get good stuff now that they made that change. Now, they did give me golden coins. They did give me golden coins. So we're going to go into the gambling hall. Remember, I told you don't go to the uh, um, don't use your golden coins in, in the um. Dance Hall is better to use them in a Gamma Hall because this is how you get the Jokers, which are some of the best characters. We're going to open all 16 of these. I need to get some Sister Mercies. I'm trying to get Tesla. This is another way to get Tesla out of here. All right, the new character. Let's see if we can get him. Out of that temple, we got trash. Got some fragments. We did not get any full characters or legendaries yet. Nope, we just got all fragments. All right, so if you are wondering what I just got, this is what I got. I got a whole bunch of four-star fragments. So that's pretty much just basically a whole bunch of four-stars that I got. I did get one five-star character, but I think it was a four-star that turns into a five-star. So not too good. A whole bunch more four-stars. I did get a stink cat fragment. Um, I got two more five-stars, so that's pretty good. But like I said, this isn't. It's not too good because we did not get any full characters. You probably wonder how I can read that. I can read it because it will be different color and it will say the character name. And we did not get in that. But we did complete some challenges for the target recruitment. Remember, you had to use golden coins. I had 16. So, you know, as you can see, 16 out of 20. We did get more than 10. So we got that. Maybe we'll be able to open up some of those fragments and be able to get another white joker or a rambler. Maybe we can open that. We're going to open up the, all these fours we got. We're going to open all those. Open all those. Yep, yep. Let's see. See if we can fuse anybody. Okay, so we are able to fuse and get another. This is what we needed. We needed another, another uh, clover. We turned him to a five star. That works. So with that, we'll be able to get, that was the last one. We already had two. Boom, we got another one. All right, so now we're not done. We're not done. We're still going to see how much more of this event we can complete. All right, so we're going to go here. We get that one free card. Hope it's good. They did change this. I don't really think it's worth me covering in the video. I probably will do it just for people who don't know that they changed it. You know, some head can start clicking everywhere. Maybe you get something good. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I got no, no purples. That was bad. All right. That was trash. Maybe this would be a purple. Ooh, nah. Not one purple. All right, I got the diamonds. I'll just open one just for the sake, right? Not one purple. Not one. Trash. All right, and that's exactly why you don't spend diamonds on characters. You don't spend diamonds on advanced cards because I spent 2,000 diamonds right there and did not get not one five-star character. Let's see if we can fuse anybody and turn them into, oh, so we got another diamond. I think that'll complete the diamonds for us. We need one more heart, though. All right, let's see what else we got. Make sure I didn't overlook anything before I close out on this video. I know y'all want to see the maximum, uh, and I'll save that gear probably for another video. I did not get anything else. So, that's it. I think we'll, I'll look at it one more time with you guys. So, I still need two more hearts, and I need to get two uh, white jokers. Yeah. And once I get those, I will get myself another copy of Calamity Caitlyn. And that's how you complete these events free to play without you having to spend 
five, ten, thirty dollars, seventy dollars, a hundred dollars. All you gotta do is save your resources. All those characters I had in here, they were not doing anything for me. They were not doing anything for me. Half of those characters I wasn't even using. A lot of them were just duplicates. They were just sitting there. As you can see, all these news, these are all the characters I ended up getting out of there. That I just had sitting there. I knew I was going to be able to use them. Like, those duplicates, like her, as you can see, that was a duplicate of her. I already had one sitting here that was right there. Now I can take her to a uh, 10 star. I have the required two that I need. It'll be nothing to fuse a, a clover to a six star and to get uh, another four, uh, nine star character. That's what's really going to take a while to do. And then the 25,000 gold dust, you know, the 25,000 gold dust. Uh, I will be able to do that joke, uh, this guy, probably by the end of today or tomorrow. But, I mean, me having all those characters sitting there wasn't doing anything for my roster. So I save them, I hoard the fragments in my bag, and then when they release the event like they just did, I open them, and I complete them. This is how I complete my events, without spending a dime. So people, they look at my they look at my roster, they look at my videos, they say, Hi, you, you must spend money. Yeah, I spent money. I'm not going to say, give them a long, drawn-out explanation. Yeah, I spent money the first month that I played, but I don't do it anymore. I just say, yeah, I spent money, because I have. But I don't spend money on this game anymore because there is no point. If I do spend money on this game, it's not me buying characters. It's not me buying resources. Only thing I will spend money on, like I told you I, I was going to do, I did end up buying this. Like I said, I was probably going to do. I did buy this. It was $10 for me to get 15,000 diamonds just because I completed all the way up to stage 260 in uh, Calamity Canyon. I made it to 278. I haven't even did it in probably like a month. But because I made it that far, I was able to get all of those diamonds, 15,000. That's why I have 22,000 diamonds. And there, I'm not even going to use them for getting cards from here. No, I'm going to use them for other events, you know, or, you know, just me, you know, getting resources to like extra fights in PvP, like the 1v1s or 2v2s. I might use diamonds and stuff like this you know i already have 41 that's just stacking up from buying them daily out the store at every reset you know i might use it for stuff like that or frontier adventure if i need med med kids so i don't want to go into me random that's the video that's how you can capitalize on these events weekly just from being a free-to-play character and i hope it was helpful bye